So here we are at the 2018 Vanier College Art and Science Vernissage. A lot of people grabbing food and showing off some amazing physical art. And in just a couple of minutes, we're going to see a bunch of videos, so a different kind of art, where students have basically used something to do with physics and chemistry to depict some kind of meaning. So uh, I'm looking forward to it, and uh, I hope you enjoy any photos and videos you see of this event. So we decided to do a painting and a brochure for this project. So the inside of the brochure, we have the chemical composition of honey. The outside, we have the physics behind how a bee flies. So with the uh, glucose, sucrose and fructose, uh, in the nectar it's sucrose and then in um, when it gets digested by the bee, it turns into fructose and glucose. And the physics behind the bee is that when it flaps its wings, it's a partial spin and so it creates like kind of like a mini hurricane and so the eye of the hurricane has a low pressure and that's what causes it to float upwards. When a star exposes, there's the, the core of the star, which is really heavy, made of really heavy elements. They will explode at the beginning and they're are going to transfer they're going to transfer their momentum to smaller elements which in return are going to transfer their momentum to smaller elements and then at the end you have the smallest elements of the star which are the shell of the star that are going to explode really fast and they're going to have a huge velocity or a speed this is a, is exactly the same thing Uh, we started this project uh, 10 years ago, it was uh, just with chemistry and I'm really glad to see that uh, uh, for the second time now we're mixing uh, the concepts in chemistry and physics, uh, promoting students' imagination and creativity, which I think is something that uh, uh, is important though, for the 21st century. Uh, we need creative people and I think that this is a way to promote that. Um, and I'm really happy to see the results, I'm really amazed and I'm also always amazed by the level of um, uh, creativity that our students have. <laughs> 